My name is John McDonald. I work in the marketing department here at Jayco, and we are about to enter one of our manufacturing facilities we call Plant 62. And it's home to the J Flight Travel Trailer. And we're going to watch them build one of these from beginning to end. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the floor and we're going to mount it on this frame right here. Okay, here's where we build the wooden floors. That will be what we call the subfloor. It goes underneath your carpeting and your linoleum. These guys are going to assemble the wooden floors and then we're going to pick them up and haul them over and mount them on the frames that we saw a moment ago. Okay, this is the station where they actually attach the floor to the frame using lag bolts. This gentleman also opens up the heating vents in the floor so that your heat will eventually come up through the floor once you've got your furnace running. At this point, all the tanks and plumbing lines and the propane lines have been installed under the floor. You can see they do that with the frame flipped upside down. And now they're flipping it back over. And they're going to set it down in some carriages that ride the floor from this end of the building to the other end. At this station, they're going to apply the vinyl flooring, or what most people call linoleum, to the floor, and then, of course, come back with carpet pad and carpeting in the areas that are supposed to receive carpeting. They're also bringing some plumbing lines and, and electrical lines up through the floor. The cabinets and the interior walls are built upstairs in our cabinet shop, and they use this chute or slide to lower them down to the station on the production line at which those items are installed on the floor, and that's what's happening right here. This is the station at which they begin installing the sidewalls, and you can see them bringing one in here right now. The sidewall is built offline, brought over on a crane, and as you can see, three guys are mounting it up on the frame where it will be installed. At this point, they've got both sidewalls and the front and rear wall on. They're lowering down the scaffolding that the folks will use to stand on while they install the roof from above. They actually build the roof right on the unit after the sidewalls are installed. First, they'll insert the ceiling panels, and then from above, they'll put the wooden trusses across the roof. They'll run wiring and air conditioning ducts through the trusses. They'll put down insulation, and then they'll eventually cover the top with uh, plywood decking. This gentleman is running wiring from the pigtail at the front of the trailer, which will hook up to your tow vehicle, all the way to the back so that when you put on your brakes or put on your turn signals, you see those indicators on the rear of the trailer. At this workstation, you can see the wiring has been run through the walls now, and this gentleman is inserting or gluing to the side walls the fiberglass insulation. Then they begin doing what we call hanging the exterior metal. It's similar to hanging metal on a house, except that they start from the top and work their way down. After the metal's been installed, they have to come back and route out the holes where your windows, your entrance door, and your storage compartment access doors will be. At this station, they install the front diamond plate. They also start putting on the decals, front and rear, and they install the marker lights and the porch light on the sides and the front and rear of the unit. At this station, they're installing the entrance door, the windows, and what we call the storage compartment doors. This is the point at which they begin installing the appliances inside the unit. At this station on the exterior of each trailer, they're installing what we call the patio awning, which goes on the door side of the trailer. And inside, they're hooking up the air conditioning and installing the valances around the windows. They're also beginning what we call final finish, a part of which is going around and, and auditing the units, that is checking them to make sure that there are, there's no extra excess of caulking that needs to be removed. At the same time, there are folks inside trimming out the unit. They're putting putty in some of the holes where you've got nails, and they're also just doing some general cleanup work inside. This is the point at which the bed mattress is inserted into the trailer, as well as the dinette cushions, which are made in our own sewing department here at Jayco. And here we are, roughly over six hours later, a completed trailer, six hours from the time we started back there with that black frame at the beginning of the production line. And they'll build 32 of these today.